I don't know why I'm being all coy with the uh, editing. You can probably guess what this video is about from the thumbnail. Little red sport car, little red sport car. You're just a sad memory. So this is the before we clear it out, ready for our new pain cave. Shall I call it the pain cave? No. No? Okay, this is the before, before we clear it out, ready for our new exercise space in the garage. You make it sound like we're gonna empty it completely. We're not going to do that. I wanna empty it completely. Apparently we're not gonna do that. Tools. I don't know what to do. Anyway, when it rains, they close up. Yeah. When it's sunshine, they open up. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm going to turn the radio down. I'm uh, about, probably about three quarters of the way through, I know, yeah, I'm probably about halfway of the way through painting the, um, the garage. So it's this wall here, let me just show you. But this wall here is where I'm going to fit, is where I'm going to fit the bike. So this, the bike's going to go somewhere here and we're going to be looking at this wall, which is why we want it white. Um, we've still got, we still got the rest of the garage. Now, eventually, we are. Let's see if I can make it focus. We are going to paint the whole of this wall. So to do so is going to involve having to move all of these um, bits and pieces, which I'm being told we're not allowed to get rid of any of it because it's all of our stuff that we don't want in the house. Since we moved, we still haven't really sorted it out. Tracy's adamant that it's stuff we need, but that's going to be a work in progress. But as it stands, this is where the bike's going to go. That gets delivered in two days. Um, does, it, does it? I mean, does it hinder you in any way as you go no, about your business? Not really. No, I just feel it and go, oh, here we go again, and then the weather changes. That's the whole wall now painted. We have thrown away a great deal. We've got a huge pile over here of rubbish that's going to go to the tip either this afternoon or first thing tomorrow morning, um, hopefully this afternoon. We've already done three loads to the tip, so we filled the car up three times, got rid of everything from old wood that I'd kept, tables that we'd kept just in case, emergency dining tables. So the, so the reason for doing this is so as we can have 
the smart bike, the exercise bike in here. We're going to use it as a pain cave. Um, Tracy hates me, call, hates me calling it that. Uh, but we're going to use it as a room, basically, to, to take advantage of. We don't use it as a garage, we use it as storage, but it just seems like such a wasted space. It's such an opportunity. Yeah, that's, that's the purpose of why we've done this. And then today, the challenge is to set the bike up here, where there's a huge pile of rubbish. So I've got these two monitors here that I'm going to be deciding between. I might use both, actually. These are old computer monitors. Also, wait there a sec. I also have this absolute unit of a PC as my app running tool for Zwift. So the tactic is that I wanna make this in here as easy as possible. I wanna make it as comfortable as possible. I wanna make sure that when I come in here, I haven't got to mess about with an iPad or, or a laptop. I haven't got to connect it to a monitor. I wanna be able to turn the thing on and I wanna be able to go. I want me to get on the bike, connect to Zwift, play a movie, play a podcast, play some music. I've got a, so I've got a Sonos that I'm gonna connect. So those are the main tactics that I'm gonna employ. Take advantage of this space, use this space for its main purpose. That's tactic one. Take advantage of the fact that it's gonna be nice and cool in the summer. Make it as easy as possible. That's the tactic with this. So let's do that now. coat on it's really cold today we've had a successful delivery so the bike was delivered about two hours ago but I've spent the last three hours trying to work out a way of connecting it to a TV I've got two computer monitors that I've, I've already shown I've already shown you and I did have a home-built PC but for some reason I can't get it to work something wrong with the PC now I can spend the next few days trying to get the PC fixed but instead, I've opted to buy an Apple TV. So rather than sit there and waste the next three or four days trying to fix and find what the fault is with the PC and probably spend more money on it, I've bought an Apple TV, which when I Googled online, everyone said that that's the best way to connect to Zwift. And what I can do is I can then stream it to my laptop and record any, any videos I make about Zwift. But yeah, the bike has been delivered. I've got a knife. So I'm going to attempt to set it up now. Pedals. Cables. Power pack. I'm really unsure of how to set this up. There's two things I need to get out of it. I need to make sure that it's um, giving me relatively good graphics as best as it can. I mean, at the end of the day, it's just a really basic computer game, isn't it? And then the other thing is I want to be able to record it. I want to be able to record the screen, um, but it's not ideal in the garage to have a, a designated computer. So I could get a new laptop, but I've bought an Apple TV. So I've got this monitor for now. Um, I need to put both pedals on. I've taken all the plastic off. All right, that's the pedals on. So we've then got this thing. You can tell I've never ridden the bike properly before. Nice. Oh yeah, I'm happy with that. Right, I'm gonna call it a day because I've got to go to work now and I've got to get ready. So um, I'm gonna set all this up tomorrow. Wish me luck. One, okay. Right, good news, I've got Zwift working. A uh, Apple TV, 4K TV, which has solved the problem and Zwift works very easily on it. So I've downloaded it, um, registered, I've joined, I've set it up, it's all going, I've put my details in, I've put my weight, my height. So I've got a Sonos 
system that I'm gonna set up, but I haven't set that up now. The second thing, not necessarily in this order, because I think the second thing is probably more important than the first thing, which is a heart rate monitor. So I don't have uh, a heart rate monitor to connect to this yet. So I'm gonna do today's fitness test without one, but I will buy one. Feet in. Right, I've already messed up. I've pulled the straps out of the pedals. Hang on. Uh, yeah, it's recording. Right, what I'm gonna do now is an FTP test. Starts off with a long, easy warm up, a few ramps, and a five minute effort to get your legs pumping. After that, it's time to give it your all and go as hard as you can for the 20 solid minutes. Pace yourself and try and go as hard as you can sustain for the entire 20 minutes. You'll be scored on the final 20 minute segment. Right, considering I've never ridden this bike before other than the four minutes I just did, I've just set it up. I'm making excuses now, but this is gonna be interesting. I don't have to change gears. I literally don't have to do anything. So I'm a complete newbie at this. I've just finished the ride. I've just finished the hour long FTP training test. Um, had a shower, got changed. Reason why I've bought the bike. This is by far the biggest investment I've ever made into my training. I'm not someone who uses technology very often to help with his training or weight loss or dietary requirements. I just don't use technology. Um, I use it for everything else in my life, which is the reason why I've kind of made this investment. So when it comes to videography, YouTube, computers, laptops, I always buy the best um, for the job. Let's do this. Right. So warm up and get your cadence up to 90 to 100. I haven't got the gears right. I don't know how to change gears. So this is a 20 minute ride to get warmed up, get your cadence up to 90 to 100 RPM. See before when I was cycling, it's because I was in erg mode and I'm not really sure, I need to, I need to learn how to use the different modes. But it wasn't let me change gears, that's fine. But when I was trying to get my cadence up to 90, like it is now, push up to 90 to 100 RPM, I had no resistance. I was just spinning. I think I need to learn what cadence is. I think, I, I know what's his power put down. There we go. There we go. Okay. All right. Just want to keep it there. Come on. Keep it there. I'm getting really hot now. I'll put a jump on because it's about five degrees today let me drop off the gear see if that helps helps my cadence yeah it does oh okay that's why erg mode helped oh my god i wish i looked like my avatar so 20 minute warm-up 20 seconds at 360 watts that's what's coming up in 14 minutes 20 seconds at 540 watts, Jesus. The other thing as well that I wanted to mention about the bike is probably the main reason that I decided to buy it was I joined a gym a few months ago, um, just before Christmas, and I wanted to do it because a lot of books that I've read, a lot of training plans that I've followed in the past, especially the one for the London Marathon, I it talks an awful lot about joining a gym and using a gym to help with your training. So adding in addition to your running is cross training, cardio, um, things that are less impact anyway. So I wanted to join the gym for that reason. I've lost a lot of weight as well. So I've lost over 10 stone and I'm at a point where I've kind of plateaued. When I started losing weight for the first time, it fell off me, absolutely fell off me. I've had to change cameras to the GoPro because my other memory card is full. This is an hour long FTP test. I'm struggling to get to 90 cadence. If I'm honest, I'm supposed to be at 260 watts now. I am nowhere near it. And then I've got a whole section of wattage I'm supposed to put down. I'm going to give it my best. I'm trying my hardest. Oh, I've got an achievement. 30 miles an hour. Five, four, three, two, one. Right, right at 360 watts. 
Selected. Let me get the cadence up. Oh, completed this route. Right, I'm supposed to now ride at 225 for 10 minutes. In 10 minutes, the FTP test begins. I've just unlocked my first 10 miles. I've not got anywhere near the 225. I've got up there, but I haven't maintained it. I've got my cadence to power ratio all wrong. Prepare for your max 20 minute effort. Oh, terrific. Max 20 minute effort. Here we go, 20 minutes. Okay, bring my power up to what I can hold. I'm already above what I can hold. Let me bring up here. Come back to you in a minute because this is just going to be 18 minutes now of constant grunting. That's always fun to see. I'm at 1541 40 and I've just been overtaken. <laughs> You've just received 10 ride ons. I don't know what that means, but I've just been overtaken by an entire pack. Let me see if I can catch them up. That's made it fun. Right, up again. See if I can catch the pack. I'm never catching that pack. And my trial's expired, apparently. Increase your power if you're feeling strong. Okay, let's try and increase power then. Come on, four minutes. Let's see if we can do this. Let's just get this finished. The screen goes fuzzy. I think that's trying to symbolize being tired, I suppose. Either that or my TV screen's gone. Oh my God, I can't sustain this. Three minutes, come on. Oh, I've upped it a gear, that's made it a lot harder. 149 average, come on. One fifty. Less than a minute. Fifty seconds. Come on. Come on. Come on. Fifty one average. Hundred and fifty one. So tired. I'm so tired. Come on. Come on. 15 seconds, 15, 14, 13, come on, 152, 4, 3, 2, 1, ah, my average FTP is 144 watts, Jesus, ah, Let's do the cool down. Oh, my FTP is 144 watts. I don't know what that means. I'm pretty sure it's not very good, but I'm happy with that because I can only improve. 
So I just want to quickly finish off talking about the 20 minute FTP test. Um, I tried to maintain an average as high as high as possible, but I really tried ramping it up in the last five minutes. And I think I actually finished on an average of about 152 watts. So my whole FTP test, I had 150 wattage average. I covered a total distance of 30.8 kilometers and that took me up one hour and 13 minutes, 2.2 PS. Don't know what that means yet. And 171 TSS. Don't know what that means. I'll Google that. The middle graph. Now this is called something. Don't know what it's called, but it shows my effort levels. So the same as when you use a running app. Yeah, it does the same thing. So it shows my peaks and troughs. It shows where I've slowed slowed off because I'm I'm dying. It talks about power distribution and obviously heart rate, which I didn't have connected. So I need to buy a heart rate monitor for that. That is my FTP test for today. So that was my introduction to Zwift. Um, the first thing I've, I've done on Zwift is to run or race or ride an FTP test, which has given me an average of 150 watts, which I can now use to put into other training plans. So tomorrow or the day after, I'll go back on and I'll use that as a baseline for choosing what training plans I'm going to use. So I'm quite excited to work out how to use the bike effectively. Um, I'm looking forward to getting the seat and the handlebars at the right level. Um, and I'm also looking forward to using Zwift to give me something which will complement my running. So as I just don't every day pound my knees and feet um, over long distances and I can burn the same amount of calories doing something which is has less impact on my joints. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I'm also looking forward to setting up the pain cave as Tracy loves me calling it. She doesn't. Um, but I'm looking forward to getting some music in there, maybe a couple of um, inspirational posters on the wall. Um, yeah, I don't know yet. I just, I'm just i just pleased to be in there. And actually, the thing that I was worried about, obviously going into summer, less of an issue, but in, a, in, in several months' time, when we go back into autumn and winter, I was worried about the temperature. But actually, it being five degrees today, which was quite cold, um, I went in there wearing a coat and a jumper and a T-shirt, took the coat off to start the ride, and I regretted putting a jumper on. I was absolutely boiling. Um, sweat was pouring off me. I covered the bike in sweat, which I had to then clean off. But my toes were really cold. So I think I might need to wear some woolly socks. So that's it. My first ever endeavour into the world of smart bikes, cycling and Zwift. Thanks for watching this video. Um, if you're a keen cyclist and you love Zwift and you know what you're doing, please give me a break because I have no idea what I'm doing. If you're new to exercise, if you're new to running, if you're new to cycling, I hope you like this video um, because that's where exactly where I am. And uh, I hope it's going to make a difference. I'm sure it is because I really enjoyed it today to the point where I'm actually looking forward to going back on it tomorrow. But I also need to go running. But that's it. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. <sighs> Ah!